with some politics and the gubernatorial debate this week. Michigan's jobs governor. We need to cut taxes in Michigan like President Trump has cut taxes across America because tax cuts mean more jobs. We're going to fix the damn roads and we're going to make sure every child in this state has a great education that leads them on the path to a high wage skill. Democrat Gretchen Whitmer and Republican Bill Schuette will face off this week in the first of two gubernatorial debates before the election. I have plans. I want to make this the Michigan that our kids stay in and make their lives in, that our families can thrive in. We're not going backwards. We can't afford a sequel of the failed governorship of Jennifer Granholm. We're going forward and going from good to great. We're going to win again. The two have traded jabs in ads and online about tax breaks, health care, roads, and Larry Nassar's prosecution. The latest poll from the Detroit News and WDIV shows Whitmer leads Schuette by 12 points, 47 to 35 percent, with 13 percent undecided. All right, so I'm really looking forward to this debate on Friday night. It's going to be on the west side of the state in Grand Rapids, so one of two debates. So, Noah, I'm going to start with you. What are the three things that you think you'd like to see coming out of this first meeting between the two? Well, so far, this has been an issueless campaign. It's been all about the individuals, the personalities. They really haven't drilled down and distinguished themselves on the issues. There's been a lot of plans out there, floated around, very shallow. I think they've got to, their challenge is to show a command of the issues and you know, so show some understanding of what it's going to take to keep Michigan on this forward movement track and, in, and then also to address some of the intractable problems the governor hasn't, the, the Governor Snyder didn't manage to solve in his eight years, namely roads and education. What about you? What are you looking yeah, for? Yeah, I think it's, it's the same thing. I think the challenge is different for each of them. Gretchen Whitmer's up so much already without having dive that deeply into some of the issues that, you know, she's playing a little defense now, right? Not trying to make a misstep, not giving people a reason to dislike her or vote against her. Uh, Shooty's got to make a real case to voters that I think uh, they feel like he hasn't made for some reason. Uh, he, he is still way behind uh, in the polls. Three yeah. thing, well, hang on, three things that I'm thinking about. One is that you touched on roads, specifics, because they're both talking about fixing roads. Of course, Gretchen Whitmer, that's what she's hung a lot of her campaign on. But where specifically are you going to get that they funding? And I, think, I think people want to hear about that. Number two, talking about Medicaid expansion in healthy Michigan. There's been a lot going back and forth on each campaign, accusing yeah. the other about what's going to happen there. Right. Third thing I'm looking for, tone. I think in the last two weeks in this country, a lot has been placed on tone. And if you're ready for office and coming out of the Kavanaugh hearings, um, it's going to be interesting to see what part tone is going to play in this debate on, on both of their parts. Sure. You know, on and roads. some realism as well. I mean, as, 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 as I think Steve was about to say, on roads, you know, they've got plans yeah, and they, but they've weird. got ideas to pay for them, but will they work? I mean, they're not really uh, practical. Plans. And I think some, some practicality, some realism, uh, something beyond on education, beyond they, they both have offered up specific little, you know, literacy czars and this sort of thing. But in terms of the broad, big, bold plan that's going to move us out of 45th, 46th, 47th are you gonna, place, are you gonna, that's missing. Are you going to confront the, the structural weirdness with education, with the separate uh, governor and board of ed? Uh, on roads, I really wonder... Uh, if both of them are taking kind of a pass on that because they're counting on the marijuana proposal to pass and that the tax revenue from that is going to bail out whoever is the next governor in terms of having to get as much money but for they, it. But gosh, it what, are, they, what are the everything. numbers on that right now on the marijuana Well, it has, it's, it's inched it over 50%. Yeah. But the amount, the way the darn thing is written, we will reap in Michigan less money. We'll get less in other states. In other but, states. Mm -hmm. But it's still hundreds uh, of millions of dollars. It's mm -hmm. about 200, 250 million. Yeah. It's still far short of the two billion we well, need right. every year. <laughs> You know, how much stock do you think that they're putting in polls right now? I know that each campaign talks about their own internal polling, which shows that it might be closer. Shooty's campaign is saying that. How much well, stock yes, do you put in it right now or a month away? I mean, the problem with polling, uh, and this is not a problem with pollsters or the people who commission polls, it is a problem with the electorate, is that, you know, it's, you're only getting a snapshot, and you're getting a snapshot of now, today, whenever they took that poll. And the volatility that exists among the electorate is the thing that throws it off. That's what we saw in 2016. 
uh, as, as Hillary Clinton's lead eroded uh, all the way up to the day of, uh, uh, of the election. And something like that could happen here, and you wouldn't know until uh, the last minute exactly what people uh, are going to do. There's so yeah. much volatility in the country, too. I mean, you look at the president, President Trump's approval ratings goes up and goes down week by week. Um, I think if they're looking at polls, they're making a big mistake, because as Steve said, you, keep campaigning. at this mm -hmm. point in 2016, that's this is what the polls look like then, and you saw what happened. And you know, I think they need to run campaigns, aggressive campaigns. If you're playing defense at this point, you're making a mistake. Unlike that's, you're behind. That's yeah. what Hillary Clinton did here. You know, and it cost her the election. One thing that I want to make sure that we talk about in the next couple of weeks is the 8th Congressional District and the race there. Mm -hmm. um, just this past week, Alyssa Slotkin and Mike Bishop kind of had a debate discussion on Flashpoint with Devin Skillian, who's a friend of the show. Um, and I don't mind saying, hey, go watch that oh, debate yeah, and good. go ahead and take a look yeah, at it. It was, it was good. very, very good. But it's interesting how much money is being put in that race yeah. as well. So we've got to talk about that sometimes. A lot sometime of outside soon. money coming in. Yeah. Okay. Okay.